So now I just got this 4000 series integrated uh, circuit kit. They're not all 4-0, some of them are 4-5 and a couple more digits, but it's in the 4000s. And uh, there are a lot of logic gates here. So quad two input NOR gate, the first one is the first one I'm gonna demonstrate. First one I'm gonna practice making a circuit with. So it's a NOR logic gate, which means the only way the output is high, red LED is lit, if both inputs are low, which they are now. If I set that input high, then you can see that uh, we had a low output blue LED. If I turn the uh, trim pot high enough, then we have a high input and a low output. I also have a light dependent resistor right there. I can uh, turn it brighter and uh, then it'll be a high input with the low output. If they're both high, then we have a low output. So now I did make a, a diagram for this video. To start off, we're gonna look at the pin layout. So there's quad, there's four, nor logic gates. So that's the or schematic symbol. And then you have a dot, that means it's inverted or not. So it's not or, it's the opposite of or, it's nor. But uh, in any case, we need to power the integrated circuit. Uh, 14, positive supply, and then 17 to the negative will probably say ground on the uh, data sheet. Also the data sheet will have something else other than positive. Uh, for that but uh, for this video just be aware we got positive up there that's where our top pins gonna be so this is a socket right here I just have to line up this bottom one with uh, ground there because that's pin 7 down there and then the uh, top one up there pin 14 will go to the positive supply so this helps us wire things up without having to worry about uh, static electricity or something else uh, frying the integrated circuit and here is the uh, schematic diagram for the circuit that we're gonna use so Really, these aren't intended to light LEDs. They don't uh, output a lot of current. We're gonna throw off the output voltage. I'll try to remember to measure that uh, later on. But if you wanna hold uh, five volts, you're, according to the data sheet, you're probably gonna have to stay a little bit below one milliamp of current. If you're working with uh, 15 volts, you're gonna be able to get more current or whatnot. But in any case, we're just gonna look at uh, five volts for this video. So I use this LED scheme here to uh, help see when the output is low. If it's low, connected to ground, the blue LED will light up. If the output's high, connected to five volts, then the red LED will light up. Again, with this particular integrated circuit, if you're not providing uh, really any current to a load, you're gonna get pretty much the full five volts or uh, zero volts. So according to the data sheet, VDD, so that's the positive supply. That's what uh, the data sheet I was looking at for this particular one, CD4001. Said a high output, 4.95 volts, a low output, 0 0.05 volts. So almost the full five or zero volts of the power supply. So now we're gonna look at uh, the inputs. We're only gonna use this uh, top left NOR gate there. So uh, pins one, two, and three. These other NOR logic gates, we're just gonna leave floating. We're not gonna connect them to anything because when I looked at the data sheet, I didn't see that uh, you should give the inputs a uh, voltage or not. A lot of integrated circuits, they recommend you give it a uh, solid voltage. So now the first input we're gonna look at, input B is pin number two right there. That's going to a trim pot, a uh, variable uh, voltage divider. We can go all the way up to five or all the way to zero volts. So uh, second pin down, we got the white jumper to the middle pin that's connected to the wiper. We can go all the way up to a five volts, which is pointed at now, or all the way down to the uh, negative uh, rail right there, zero volts, or anywhere in between. Input A, which is uh, pin number one, since we're using that uh, NOR logic gate right there, we have, a lot of people will want a dot right there. I use a little uh, curve to indicate a jump if the wires are not connected. All of these uh, are connections right there. In any case, we got uh, pin number one, this red jumper goes there. You can see we got a 3000 ohm resistor to the negative supply. That's the pull down resistor. That helps hold the voltage low at uh, pin A if the light is not uh, bright enough. Uh, but uh, in any case, that holds the voltage low. We got a switch there. If I close the switch, you can see that goes to the positive supply up there. That makes a direct connection to the positive supply. That's high, that's five volts. Doesn't matter what that resistor is doing. There's a direct connection to the positive supply, five volts. Now we got the light dependent resistor. So it's a, a variable resistor. Bright light, if it gets bright enough, it's basically a direct connection to uh, five volts. If it's darker though, it has higher resistance and uh, thus the uh, resistor here becomes more influential, holds it closer to uh, zero volts. So 
that is why I picked uh, that value for the lamp I'm using it makes it so that uh, the light levels I'm working with work with this input so now we have uh, the integrated circuit in the uh, sockets already because it's a little tricky getting them uh, lined up but in any case I uh, press the uh, ground there to help uh, discharge if I have any static buildup and it slides uh, right in there we don't have to worry about whether it's uh, lined up well anymore or not because we already had the socket there I already pressed the uh, switch in so we're gonna turn the uh, power on we have the true table so the output is low that tells us we have at least one high uh, input there and the reason why is because the uh, lamp was uh, bright enough so there we go we uh, turned it down and uh, so now there's a lot more resistance there that pull down resistor is holding the voltage low at uh, that input so if we get uh, one input high or the other input high right there then the output is low and if they're both high still then the output is low so hopefully that makes sense you can see here we got the one kilo ohm resistor to the positive supply coming to the anode the long lead of the LED on top short lead the cathode that lets you know it's going to uh, ground because it's lit up and uh, let's get the uh, red LED on right there so you can see that side is ground so the output has to be coming from the positive supply as best it can to get the red LED to light up and now we're gonna look at uh, voltages so I'm gonna sneak in here and uh, connect directly to ground right there we're gonna look at the output see if it's high or low there so there you can see we actually got uh, 4.95 volts and uh, Thought it might be a little bit lower because we are losing a little bit of uh, supply voltage. But we got almost the 5 volts as I said uh, before. But again that is without a load. doesn't have to provide any current. So we're setting an input high. There's at least one high input so a low output. And there you can see we got uh, 0 volts. Now I'm going to set that back to uh, low. We're going to return the LEDs to the circuit right there. Make sure we put them in the right way. So we have a high output right there it's going to be as close to uh, 5 volts as it uh, can get and you can see it falls uh, quite a bit short there we lost about a volt and we could uh, since it's a 1000 ohm resistor right there you can see we got about 2.1 milliamps of current so more current than that 0.8 uh, 8 I think it was that it said on there we got uh, over 2 but we lost some voltage so as I said before pretty sure that is the amount of current you can get and still hold the voltage so here you can see that uh, we're not all the way down to zero volts anymore and because uh, we have to provide current to a load and uh, so it's not uh, sourcing uh, sinking current as well as it could we could look at how much currents going through uh, the resistor and uh, there we go uh, about 1.6 milliamps because it's a 1000 ohm uh, resistor right there so that extra current is throwing off the voltage a little bit and finally let's come to one of the things I liked about the kit so there's actually a 46 different integrated circuits in there some of them are uh, 16 uh, pins at least one anyways and uh, there's sockets for the 14 and uh, the 16 but uh, in any case we looked at the CD 4001 uh, that is an indication of who the manufacturer is the letters before it the main thing it's a 4001 which is a quad 2 input nor gate and you can see the pin layouts here so as we said before you got to power it so 14 is the positive supply pin 7 1 down to 7 is a ground right there so VDD indicates the positive supply typically when you're using uh, MOSFET transistors which are what's making up the uh, circuitry inside of these uh, different logic gates so we have uh, number one right there that's the one we used you can see a B and then O for the output and then number two the output is uh, next to the output of one with the inputs down at the bottom and then we basically got the same pin layout there for the other two except for their shuffle down one more because of how the uh, power supplies are so that's one thing I liked about the kit they have the uh, pin layouts there which I uh, make it easier again you still got to look at the data sheet for all the specifications and everything how much power it can handle and whatnot and I wrote it on the sheet but uh, this one can uh, work with up to 15 volts uh, 18 absolute maximum but I recommended from 3 volts to 15 volts for this uh, so you can even go with lower voltage lower power applications but uh, 
That's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I post on screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.